Welcome to Vet Ranch Roundup. I'm Dr. Carrie. This is someone. He's April's dog, also known as Akuda's Point America. This is someone as Akuda's Point America. Of course, I'm sure you have probably seen that episode. Really? If you haven't, it would be a good idea to get caught up and check out these playlist where you can meet everybody that we have here and see patients that have already gone and been adopted. Um, he's in my stuff. Are in a makeup bag? What are you getting in there? What are you getting? It's pretty sweet. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for coming to hang out this week and we hopefully are going to have another transport this week where the cereal puppies are going to go, the chihuahua mom is going to go, and um, who else? Millie's gonna go. Oh, he can't take it anymore. He's laying down. Look, look how cute he is. Oh gosh, this is gonna fall. Bear with me. And um, Millie, and they're all gonna go to New York as well. We've got some really crazy weather coming, so that may be delayed, but hopefully not. Anyway, let's jump right in and get started. You ready? All right, go home. He's ready to go up front and reception and sleep all day. Okay, let's go. I'll help get down. Time. We are going to hopefully get these kids on transport. Look at them. So we're going to spay and neuter everybody today, hopefully, if we have time. And then in a few days, hopefully, they'll be on their way to New York. This little pup is Daisy. She's brand new to us. She is about two years old, a little Chihuahua Terrier mix. She's a tiny little girl. We did not mean to coordinate her sweater and splint, but it just happened. I know, she's having trouble standing. She's a little shy. It's gonna take her some time to warm up. She's pretty thin um, and she has a fractured leg. So we are reaching out to Dr. Reed and hopefully gonna get a plate on this because she's we're not going to heal without that. Um, so we'll get started. You ready? Here are 
are Daisy's radiographs. So this is actually several weeks old and not healing, which is not uncommon. Small dogs with distal radius and ulnar fractures are the absolute textbook example of non-union fractures that are not gonna heal even with a splint because they have a very minimal blood supply to that area. So this dog pretty much has no hope of healing without surgery. Um, and then obviously there's the fracture on the left four and it's not set at all. So even if we hope to have it heal, um, it's not set. So we are gonna call in Dr. Reed and see if we can't get a plate on that thing. to see us because he jumped off the couch at the foster house which is something a dog should normally be able to do and then started limping really bad so we are going to get some x-rays and see what's going on with him he's the sweetest dog tag i thought we were done buddy look at all that smile he has Baba. Here are TAG's radiographs today, and we'll, we'll back up and look at the ones from before, but there were no fractures and everything looked great. And so this is actually called a pathological fracture. So it looks like from the bite wounds, he got infection seeded into his bone, which we didn't know about at the time because his radiographs look perfect. And that bacteria weakened the bone and cause bone lysis and then because the bone was weak he's just being a normal puppy left off the couch then boom pathological fracture so this is definitely the worst case scenario but you can see this pocket of air around the bone and that's definitely indicating air forming bacteria so the best course of action is to amputate this leg and get this source of infection out of his body because we know he's got to be septic um, if he's got this infection on his bone Poor tag. Just for comparison, these are tags, radiographs, um, about six weeks ago. It's insane how quickly that changed. Come here, tag. Well, we are gonna amputate tag today. There's just no saving that leg. Look at it. It's dangling. It's septic. It's like you need to cut this, not cancer, but kind of cancer, out of your body. Get the infection out of your body, and he just doesn't even use that leg. Poor guy. Oh goodness, what happened? So the foster to adopt, to, please don't. He's perfectly happy having a three-legged dog. But look at him. That's process, boy. Yes. So we're going to do that. I'm bummed, but glad we have that opportunity at least to save him. Let's go, dude. Come on, Tag. Hey, Tag. No, don't get up, Taggy Tag. Okay, well, it's about eight o'clock at night, the day of Tag's procedure. I just want to come up here and check on him. The leg looks really good. I was able to get rid of all that bruising and, and uh, 
just inflammation or a lot of it and so he's already doing so good so we'll see how he does tomorrow but this guy's on his road to recovery now good boy tag i gotta go Night, night, bud. All right, tag is one day post up going back to his foster home, and he's going to be very excited about it. Come on, boy. Look at my couch and all the hair. I gave you this bed and there's still a lot of hair everywhere. What are we gonna do? Squeak, squeak, squeaky, squeakers. What are we gonna do? Kitty. It's ready for transport. And then here's one of our dogs. I had to make sure it's cozy for them. Number one. Transport day. We got held off one day because of the freeze, but now we're going. I thought I could carry two of these at one time. <laughs> yeah, no, no. They're a lot bigger now. now. Number two and three. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I already lost one. Half a crunch. Crunch and Cheerio. Cheerio. Are you ready, guys? Our dogs made it. Um, hopefully, they're on their way to get on their way to New York. So they're headed to get on transport right now. Um, but huge success if we get everybody sent. I bet they're going to be adopted quickly, and we're probably going to get an update soon from the ones that went last week. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching our videos. We could not do this without your support. Consider subscribing to our channel. Um, don't forget to turn on the notifications. I didn't even think about that. Someone told me that you don't get notifications unless you turn them on. So do that so you can keep up with the vlog. Um, other than that, thanks to Abandoned Pet Project and all you guys that donate. And we'll see you next week. Bye. We got the hard timbers. Wind leaving for transport. <laughs> Five puppies. Five puppies, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Clear girl. Why'd they do that to you? Fruity pebbles, fruity pebbles, fruity pebbles. That's 
They just look so cute while you're carrying them. Don't be shy. Mom is trying to eat one. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> <laughs>